at the frequency. Zero WAR testing. The N means it's gone. Okay, the no worries. I do know how to do that, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll look at it before I upload it. Ten seven VDR testing. The R means you're going through a repeater. Dual time slot. So those guys are yapping away on one time slot, and I can hear them. Shows them. And then you can use another one for whatever. Or you can use it for like a full blown repeater here. I did take off the acrylic protective screen plastic, so it's way more clear now. Jimmy in 7BDR pointed that out that I didn't peel it off. Um, also, on this. you can see it. I cut off. Cool. I just figured out how to edit it also. That's awesome. Crap. A USB mouse plug. You can see it. Yeah, the text editing is relatively straightforward. In order to power the There's USB other fan here. Boxes. It goes down that below you can it. Click on that have nothing in them. Um, are like reserved. In this TTL. Editors. The USB adapter is not needed. You can hardwire it, solder it to the board instead. So just another uh, test video of the uh, BI7 JTA dual spot, nano spot. Um, and also the tidbit that Jimmy pointed out, if there's an N that's going through the network and not this device. And if I key up it means it's RF coming directly through the uh, receiver on the box, which I did not know. Good information. And the fan is keeping the temperature down to uh, right at 100 degrees. That looks like Tom, 84UU. About it for now. Just a little update video with the chopped off mouse, computer mouse, USB cable running through the bottom of the board and wired right into the fan here. And that's it. Another uh, YouTube video on the Nano Spot. This is N0WAR. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll try to do some more right videos thanks to Wang, BI7 JTA in China. Hello. And yeah, having a lot of fun here in the shack. 73.